You're live from the Crossfire Intel Challenge 7 from the Wizard Gaming Center here in Enchide, brought to you in association with Intel, of course, and also uh, with Blockbuster.co.uk, and uh, you're live on QuadB.com. I'm with D-Man, who is ready to rock and roll. I am indeed. We are going live into the game. We've seen some pretty good games today. We've seen some pretty bad games today, but it is the group stages. What do you expect? We're going to have Reason versus Fnatic tomorrow. I'm quite excited about that. Like 9 a.m. or something as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be an early one. Anyway, it is District, would you believe it? Let's give you a quick roster run now for Power Gaming. It is Froster, Tokshe, Mazzarini, Lubishmir, and Paradox. Kind of a mix between Isuba, uh, one from Yo Yo Tech, and one randomly thrown in there from Button Bashers. Four loaded, they are the American powerhouse that have come over. And, uh, well, we've got Keith Zhu, Juvenile, Curious G, Impaler. You've s probably seen an interview with Keith Zhu and Impaler early on. And uh, Asriel, is that meant to be Asriel? Asriel, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to ask. AZRL, no, that's going to be a pronunciation. And people on RCA are going, oh my god, he doesn't know who that is. True, they will. <laughs> They're out to get you, D man. They're out to get me. Anyway, first round went to attack, which was a power game. I'm gonna flick across to them. So let's take it away. I don't know what to expect to see here. Loaded were full of confidence, they're full of beans, as you would expect from American team. Obviously, yeah. part pandemic, they came, they saw, they conquered at Antwerp, and almost in text, not quite though. And actually, they, they nearly did it at I-34 following that as well. It was a, one of those grand summers of but lots of money. You forget console. last summer when the Americans came over and, saw. and went home very quickly. Oh, yeah, well, that's very true. Yeah, that's we we Americans are, that. are, are in Call of Duty are always full of confidence. They backed it up in the first year, but in the second year, they didn't. And I think that's the uh, that's what rings home for me. But it's a great frag from Froster. And uh, Impaler is the last man up. One on three. This is have to be something special. As, uh, he knows he's got one down the back, and he's got a bomb planted. He's ever so slightly making his way towards it, but with bullets coming across from nearer that spawn side. He's well aware of where he's being fragged from, but he can do nothing about it as Tox picks up that headshot. And that'll be 2-0. And Power already setting their stall out. Indeed, and uh, I was over at the Veto, and the first map that Lodi took out was Strike. Which is interesting, because pretty much all we've seen, all Veto, is Strike. And the second one they took out was Crossfire. They didn't want to have anything to do with those two. Maybe it's just for future games, but they just, you know, they wanted District, and Keith was happy, and oh, people over in the Call of Duty 4 arena area, they can hear Keith. <laughs> he's, he's, he's quite loud. He's, he's taking the Debor shout, I believe. I don't know whether it's Impaler, actually. Impaler's uh, quite an, a loud chap. But uh, at the moment, Mazzarini peeking round. Didn't actually take down Juvenile there. Juvenile on the scope for loaded. And Israel's been taken down. On two. Juno, Curious G versus Mazarini and Lubish here. Mazarini does take down Juvenal. Mazarini is one of those players, when he's hot, the rest of the team do incredibly well. When he's not, they may struggle, but Lubishmir could carry them. Paradox uh, is the scope, I believe, for Power Gaming. He was down. It's a one on one. Curious G does take down Mazarini. Just peeking round to tag up there. Curious G down to half health. Doesn't matter. It's COD 4. He'll just blip and heal up. Lubishmir is the man. Call of Duty 2, I believe he was big in. Looking around, he knows he's round to shore around the back. Curious G takes him down, and well, you gotta say, Loaded should not have won that round. They were down to a three on, I think it was a four on two situation at one point. But Curious G couldn't defuse, didn't have time, so yeah, power game and take it. I'm gonna throw it out there on your statement about Mazzarini. The most overrated player in Call of Duty history. <laughs> should not be anywhere near anyone's top anything. <laughs> Great guy, lovely guy, but no. But no. Here we go, loaded, ready to rock and roll with uh, Keith, the man of the moment. Loses Mazzarini by Azrael. Tox gets picked off. As, uh, now it will be Keith to just go on the prowl, five on three as we look for those uh, remaining power players. It's. Uh, Paradox with the scope, by someone, but takes an eyeful of his own. Paradox, lucky to be alive, as he will smoke down and now make his way down towards that bomb site. He's got Froster for help, but only Froster because Keith goes big with two big frags, and now there's only one man left. It's him, 
It's uh, Froster, and he is finished off by Juvenile. It's 3-1 loaded on the board. A sluggish start, but a start at least. A sluggish start, but a team ace in the end. So one they'll be happy with. Let's follow Juvenile scopes on District. Tends to be one of those big things. Lubish, a paradox, sorry, versus Juvenile. Not too sure who will win. Juvenile, we've seen many times. He's had some uh, pretty tragic events. I'm thinking certainly of that 13-1 final at... Uh, yeah, we've never seen the best of uh, Juvenile, unfortunately. Well, we've not. And uh, and to be fair to Lodi, they said, look, he is by far the best scope we've got. Um, I would argue Frank probably the was best in America, or possibly in the world, I don't know, when he was when he was around at his prime. Juvenile does take down Lubishmir, though, and loaded. Suddenly trading blows, but Power Gaming come out on top. Keith Z, the last man standing, being chased by Paradox or across that room with the AK-47. And it is 4-1. It's a big, big start for Power Gaming, especially in the attacking rounds. I th this is one of those maps where if you nail your attack and you become good on it, then it's just kind of rinse, lather, repeat. If your wishing well attack is good, then you'll clean house and you'll put up a lot of rounds. So the big question is, do Loaded have that in their arsenal? Cross the Tox and Lubishmir. Last standing against four as uh, let's try and find one of them. All I can find for the time being was loaded players because this two on four is not favorable. Lubo is uh, going to try and make his way back towards the bomb you feel. As, uh, there's definitely one looking down this alleyway and that's what he's concerned about as he makes the crossover, collects the bomb unharmed and is uh, now ready to make his way through. Froster is uh, going to get himself the frag on a juvenile. Lost that half health but Nothing to write home about as Asriel is going to have to try and stop him. Froster is going to cover from above, and this bomb's going to go down. And Loaded will beg the question that they've not done enough here as Froster gets himself his hat trick frags. Suddenly, it's a man on two as Curious G is going to have to go for it. Makes his way across. He has no idea where they are as he charges into this bomb site. It's five by one. Charges way around the corner, gets himself the first frag. The next man is Froster, who's going to run away. If I were curious yet, just pick up that bomb and try your luck. Will he? Froster looks down. Is uh, going to take a face full of bullets. Has Curious G done enough? I don't think so. And his time is uh, against him as he decided to chase. And Froster realized he'd done enough as help with by his fourth frag of the round. The only man to uh, deny him that was himself, in fact. Did he get all five? One. No, yeah, one, he two, did. three, four, yeah, five. A hell of an ace. And he really did. He turned it around from a one on, uh, sorry, from a two on four to win the round with an ace. And the first ace of the tournament we've seen here on air. And he goes to Froster Power Gaming against Loaded, leading 5 1. Loaded said, you know, we know how they're going to play. They don't know how we're going to play. We're just going to play our own game and let them turn to our style. But I've got to say, I think they need to change their own style a little bit because at the moment power gaming looking strong however loaded in this round find themselves five on three Froster the man of the hour is peaking suddenly it got incredibly loud in here yeah. <laughs> but anyway Tokje has been tagged up heavily Froster and Tokje hang on to fight another day Juvenile being tagged up through the wall Paradox moves his way up he's got the bomb he's got one to the right oh, Juvenile takes him down though Real on Tokshe. Frost, the last man standing. He just didn't go huge in the last round. Manages to take down a Paler. Follows through. Didn't actually switch to Deagle. A lot of people would have switched it up to Deagle and continued the chase. They decided to stop and reload. Bomb loose. 28 seconds. Plenty of time. Asriel and Curious G. Of loaded. America versus the Czech Republic. And two arguably top seeds of this event. Meeting for the first time in the group, the first game of the group. And at the moment, Foster is really going huge for his team, isn't he? We last saw him at Yo-Yo Tech, and he was big then for uh, Yo-Yo Tech. Certainly put up a lot of work in against Dignitas, but time's not with him in this round. And Loaded managed to hold it out, so well played, he says. But I think it was another four from Foster there that round. Yeah, he's 11 frags up inside seven. He's really on tip-top form. And I was speaking to uh, DeRus of Catrid earlier on, and he said that he thought Loaded were going to win this, but he thought Froster was going to be a big, big player in the match. And 
Yeah, I've stuck thus far. He's right at one of the counts. As uh, now Impaler is down. Mazzarini follows suit. Juvenile looking with the sniper. Now we'll uh, poke his head across over the marketplace. Fires off a shot, but more for effect than for anything else. As uh, Lubo will look down towards the bomb site. He's got a man planting. Bomb will go down and Asriel and uh, Curious G will chime in with three frags and suddenly it's all on top. Let's see if we can find him. He is uh, not going to last much longer. It's five on three. And for five on one, Loaded have just pulled it back to within daylight. Top share there. Couldn't pull off anything special. We've seen him do it many, many times long ago in the days of Button Mashers and Coma Crew. But this time so far, that certainly the first time I think in Cod Fodder I've seen a full mix of uh, Czech and Dutch players. I think Frost's Dutch as well, I believe. Yeah. Tokshe is Dutch as well, so two Dutch and three Czech. Paradox with the frag onto Juvenile. That's scope on scope. Frost does take down Asriel. Curious G replies onto Tokshe. Bomb plant going in. And there it is. Paradox gets that bomb plant in there. So at the moment, the scope is running in as the bomb planter. Whether that's because Tokshe was the original runner, I've not really watched. 5 3 the score, though. Power Gaming on the attack here on City Streets leading. Paler takes now Froster. Paler, last man. He's got to go big for his team yet. He is just on the ledge, trying to clear it out. Oh, he tagged up Paradox. Couldn't finish off the kill, though. Managing to duck and hide. 17 seconds. He's leaving himself an awful lot to do in this short space of time. Paradox there, 6 3. And that is a great score for Power Gaming on the attack here. We've seen some big turnarounds on this map before, though, but I've got to think Power Gaming have got this one. I think it'll be a case of whether the Americans actually do have that ace in the hole. Because this is the map where you can see the uh, the turnaround. And uh, you know what? I would keep shorter odds on this than I would in a double European match of uh, when it gets to the score. He looks to open up the fragging. He does some damage, but it was to Froster. Uh, but Froster's explosion on the canisters damaged his back, who now has to ma batten down the hatches in on that bomb site. Will nade up. Vulnerable as he throws, he's now waiting. Lands himself some damage with his nade, but he's taking damage as he goes as well. Up through the wall, and he suddenly swarmed from every which way. Lubo picks himself up too. Juvenile follows, and now they have to make their way in towards this site. It's going to be Curious G to spam on into the site. He gives his position away as he does, and Froster finishes off at 7-3. to three. And you feel loaded. If they are to have a footing on which to mount any magical comeback, they're going to have to win one more over the last two, and they don't look like it. They're going to have to pill some big rounds out in the attack. That is for certain. 7 5 is the best they can hope for in the defensive round. Froster opening up with a frag once again on Keith Zhu. And Juvenile also going down. Froster is on fire at the moment. Mazzarini tagged up. Azariel getting two for himself. Froster is down. Curious G replies onto Toxie. It's two on two suddenly. And Impaler thinking, where did my team disappear to? A is the site once again for Power Gaming. I don't think they've once gone for B site yet. Flashed up Curious G, backing off. Tagged up Impaler. Impaler goes down to Lubrishmir. It is Curious G versus Lubrishmir. They took each other out, in fact. The bomb is down. Oh, but Lubrishmir is there, and that's 8-3, and that spells disaster for Loaded in their first round. And you've got to feel they're going to be looking at losing this match now. Second place is not a disaster in the groups. It does put them against first place. It will be Group B, which I believe at the moment is Infinity Skills. Um, and I think Pentagram will be second. Pentagram lost to Infinity Skills. So unless Infinity Skills lost one. Drus is shaking his head because he felt Loader were going to win this one. And his heart's broken by what has been a real <laughs> disappointing first round. But... They've given themselves a chance with three opening frags. Tox and Lubo are the last two. As uh, Juvenile misses his two shots, will it be third time a charm? Well, the last man is now Lubo, making his way in towards the site. One on three. And uh, it will be Juvenile to finish off the job. Eight, four. That is footing or foundation enough for a comeback, but you have to feel that it's a tall order. Well, I can only refer back to a long, long time ago at I-32, Dignitas versus TLR. 10-2, I believe a certain caster to my right said he'd eat his hat if they came back in it. 
and they did. They came back and uh, I tell you what, you're like David Fleet. You can pull up the most useless stats the that stat. no one no one cares about. I thought it, it was a, it was it was probably the greatest final in Call of Duty. Oh, that's that's why you care about it. Yes, David Fleet wannabe. David, I, I definitely don't want to be David Fleet. <laughs> a Tottenham Hotspur has been. Anyway, back to the game in hand. Loaded on the attacks. Paradox goes actually takes down Impaler straight away. And Paradox has been tagged. Up oh, Tokshi does go down. Keith Su loaded, charging into A site. Curious G onto Foster. Rubishmir, Curious G. Rubishmir going looking for the frags. Can he pick up any rear frags? At the moment, Mazzarini's on his belly as Juvenile works his way into A site. It's suddenly a two on three. Well, not suddenly. It wasn't that quick. It just happened. But Keith Su levels up the scores as Lubishmir was looking for those back frags and found himself an angry Keith. One just on the road to the side. It was Paradox waiting oh, with that Deagle one. on the headshot. Keith Su now the last man standing against Mazzarini and Paradox. Check teammates, they pushed it quite far with his super. I think they managed to get fourth at Tex. I may be wrong with that one. They certainly got quite high. And at the moment, Keith with the bomb in hand doesn't want to know about bomb side B. Someone coming around the corner. That's going to be an easy frag on to Paradox. It's suddenly a one on one, but you've got to feel Mazzarini in the defensive position will have the uh, upper hand. He's going to just come around the corner and get the easiest frag of the game. It's 9-4, and now Power Gaming are looking incredibly strong for taking this win. Juvenile really, really hurt his team's chances there. It's a two-on-two. Juvenile charging up towards the car. The first man fires the most schoolboy of warning shots to say, hey, by the way, I'm over here. And Juvenile just runs out, you know, looking for, you know, like looking for a hug rather than looking for a frag. He was so obvious down the middle of the road. And that was a two-on-two, -two, became a two-on-one, and, and now they're in trouble. But... They're making their way out of it. Keith has got himself two frags, and now Luba will get himself one. Keith gets himself his third, and Juvenile finishes it off, and it's rounds like that, but despite the fact I couldn't click fast enough to actually see the action, make you realize that Loda do have what it takes to pick up rounds, and it is possible still. It is, and Keith's been going big the last few, dodging the grenades. Yeah, they did manage to... Just about picks up a flash, gets himself a frag onto Mazarini as he charges through the marketplace looking for Paradox. He's been around there the last few times and there he is with the Deagle taking down Keith. Curious G with bomb in hand. Froster not quite carrying as on as he did in the first round. Still the top fragger on the server. He manages to take down Asriel. Took him to 20 frags so far. Froster onto Impaler, 21. Foster looking for that 30 bomb against Loaded, which will be quite impressive, i got to say. Certainly performing on land. And Juvenile Curious G with a big ask. 9-5. If it goes to 10-5, you've got to feel there's just no chance. It's just not going to happen. But you never know. The bomb has gone down. Lubishmir goes around looking for defense. He didn't even check that corner. Juvenile just sat there waiting. And Froster suddenly finds himself without a team. Oh, he was, that was a very easy one for him, but the second one's there, Curious G, and it's 9-6. They are on a little charge of two rounds. If they can it's get another first three or four, then who knows? It's the first time they've won rounds in a row. Mm. Um, and that says a lot, considering we're 15 rounds in. But let's see whether they're able to do anything now. Impaler, who's been quiet, needed to state his intentions. Three frags is not quiet, it's rubbish. Tox picks himself up one. Hasriel gets himself a equalizer frag back onto Mazzarini. Tox's double grenade frag lands onto two, but then Tox finishes up with a third. He's down courtesy of Juvenile, but Juvenile's left on his own. One on three, and Froster's still around. And Froster finishes off the job. Just also wanted to look at one other player. Mazzarini called it, having <laughs> a very quiet one. Should get eight, to be fair. <laughs> on a winning team. Paradox is at nine, the sniper. <laughs> Let's be fair to the man. You're just picking on him now. <laughs> Racist. <laughs> anyway, let's get back into this game. It is at the moment loaded with a double frag. Mazzarini going down <laughs> early on. Called it. 
Uh, <laughs> Dogshay, last man standing for Power Gaming. This is surely going to be a quick loaded round, and it will be as Keith to charge through. Keith to has got to be leading the frags for, uh, yes, he is, 17 frags, but Froster with 23. That ace obviously stacking it up nicely, but loaded. I'm not out of it yet. Loaded are going to get into double figures in this game. Yep. I'm confident of that. So this could be a close one. Ooh. Called it. Mazzarini <laughs> drops two as he delivers here. Let's see if we can find him. Mazzarini is, uh, oh, Louis Pale has gone down as well. Mazzarini a little bit damaged, but looking across towards those uh, back stairs. I think it was Juvenile he was looking for. Oh. And the round's over before Mazzarini can look for his third and fourth frag. It's 11-7. And, uh, well, we're one away from match point. Indeed. Loaded and in trouble now. It's getting real. First game here. For a long flight and a long wait to get their first game. They would just want to play. That's what they said. They said, surely do you not feel it's a disadvantage playing the top seed in your group first game? They said, no, it's just as much a problem for them. But at the moment, it certainly is a problem for the Americans. They are four on three already in what could be. 12th round for Power Gaming. You've got to feel it will be Curious G with a grenade onto Mazzarini. And he's not. He's got 11. He's beaten Paradox now. But there's only four for an Impaler. That's not good stats. Not good stats at all. He is the last man standing, so one would feel not very confident that he's going to pull off. He could almost double his clutch. frags if he won this round. Almost. Will he get one? No, he won't. No, he won't get any because Paradox is hopping over. He says, I'm not going to be bottom fragger of our team. I'm going to level you with Mazzarini. And it is 12 7. Only a draw now possible for Loaded. The team that's come over from America looking to potentially finish second in the group, but they've got a long night ahead of them. Yeah, you've got to say, not good. Some players have shown up. Impaler, though. It's the first time many Europeans will have seen him, and they won't be happy. Pressure. Durus was saying he thought there were big things coming from him. It's a new man, he had nothing to fear. Well, now for this one, he's got the wrath of his teammates to fear. Froster and Tox both down though. Power without the big guns. And a man to the good. Sorry, a man down. The damage done to Juvenile, who must rate his pistoling. If he's going to go for that one, his sniping's been, well, looking over towards the side. There's nothing there for him. He's taking more damage. I'm not sure what he's actually doing at the moment, Juvenile, but he is moving. Nazarini, last man standing, one versus three. We've just seen an exercise of futility from Juvenile, which Nazarini is now looking to capitalize on. Curious, he's put the bomb down. Uh, there's the frag finally from Juvenile. And all that move for me just to top him. 12 8 the score. They need four to draw. Looking difficult. Yes, it's a tight, tense match for Loaded. They can't. They've got to just dodge those grenades coming in at the start. They've got to land those grenades at the start as well. Keith 2 charges in. Juvenile. Keith 2 goes straight down. Froster onto Impaler as well. Froster looking to hit those high scores up to 26 already it's not bad oh but curious G's there he's not gonna get not gonna get that 30 bond that he was after but loaded suddenly pick up two frags three on two they're gonna instill themselves in it here curious G taking down Mazarini Lubishmir the last man standing could it go to 12-9 can they drag this out for a draw that's what they're after now all they can hope for and it would be a great result really from what the match was looking like still would be three agonizing rounds. Juvenile knows exactly where he is. Lubishmir just came straight out into his crosshairs. He couldn't go wrong with that one. Even you could have landed that one. I could have landed that one. Here we go. 12-9. You're right. Can they drag it out for a draw? And but Power Gaming. There you go. Will they look at this and say, you know what? Nine rounds against Power Gaming. Top seed in the group. If we don't have intentions of winning this tournament, then nine rounds against the top seed is good. It's a, it's a good second place mentality. But there's some big teams in that group. MCA is still there, if I'm not mistaken, in, are in this group. All I can say is MCA you know, are in it. You can tell what technology has moved on that much that the team's now complaining that 
They're getting 60 frames per second. Oh my god. Could Who's you imagine the days of Quake in the early None days? None of them are. None <laughs> of them are, I can assure you of that one. <laughs> They're on brand spanking new PCs with one gig video card. And of course, brand new Core i5 brought to you by Intel. This is the Crossfire Intel Challenge. Waiting on uh, one player to, uh, sorry, seven players have to ready up. And so uh, we are waiting to go. And that second place mentality that I talked of wouldn't help Loaded because they have a very tough group. MCA are a side who have they a have lot of talent in there. Panics. Bar Riku. There's uh, I say a lot of talent bar Riku. <laughs> no, I'm on about their, their companics bar Riku being in fifth. I, mean, I, I heard a big insult there. I don't know <laughs> if anyone <laughs> else did. But anyway, they have a lot of talent. They're the old button basher side that, of course, go in the final at CC5. Did a lot of damage. Were, uh, you know, Monkey number one on the uh, rankings for a long time. PJ in there. No, PJ's not, is he? No. But well, he was their main player. I'm sure Spo and Zen would have something to say about that. Well, maybe. And they do have, of course, Souls, the man who oh, Souls was oh, yeah. Mr. COD 2 Sniper when it counted. I remember serious the uh, SHG Open when he was in serious gaming way back. No, he was in the other Dutch one that w folded anyway. <laughs> but he was just shot after shot after shot, heavy hit after heavy hit. <laughs> uh, I mean, he went, we counted it. He went something like out of 30 shots, killing 20 people. So there's the talent, there's the legacy in that MCA team that means they will not be an easy game no. for uh, Loaded. Not by a long shot. They're on his desktop at the moment, apparently, which is waiting for... Uh, there we go, so it should be in in a moment. They're just launching the game. Like we say, the the top two from this, I believe, play Group B. They may be wrong. I think these are Group G. I'm waiting for Joris or Morg, you know, their discussions... It's serious stuff, obviously. No, Morg's, Morg's nodding his head. He's not feeling good. Yeah, I don't know if any of you have met Morg, but Morg's quite literally half the man he used to be at this event. Literally has half the hair of a regular Morg. <laughs> <laughs> I believe Group G plays Group B. Group G, Group B, Group B, Group G. First and second, second and first. Oh yeah. Which is Infinity and Pentagram. But if you were asking for a, a second round match, a, f so a, a first uh, knockout round match, I would ask for one, a Pentagram or Infinity, regardless yeah, of the fact indeed. that Infinity are playing well. Um, I wouldn't want Infinity a Fnatic, I wouldn't want a Reason, I wouldn't want a, the other big teams that are out there. Infinity also proven to a lot of people about their uh, online only status that uh, a lot of people had labeled them with and suddenly they're actually maybe you shouldn't be so really quick well. to judge Lee indeed no I don't know me other the team have made a big name for themselves this weekend hostile faction picking up a slaughtering of MCW who have had a very difficult land yet again um, hostile faction won two games I believe out of the ones that they played they I I think from the results I heard of them, they'll be looking at a, uh, at a second place at least. So, interesting to see how they do. Anyway, here we go. We're ready to rock. Lee, take us away. We are indeed ready to rock and loaded. Have to pick up this round. Could it just been, you know, a bit of mind games really from Power Gaming to stop the momentum of loaded. Try and take this win. They only need one round and that grenade on Keith Zhu is not going to help loaded one bit because he's been their leading scorer in these rounds. Fernando could do with picking up a frag, but it's not happened. Curious G down, who's the second highest fragger. And suddenly loaded. I'm thinking we need to get some kills here. Juvenile does. He takes Frost. That Juvenile also takes down Tokshay. Mazzarini, though, with the headshot. And suddenly Impaler, the lowest fragger of the entire team. Well, it's, it's looking worse now. He's actually left and rejoined just to, just to hide his stats. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember any kills, so that could be right. He's down to four, I think. <laughs> but it is Mazzarini, Lubashmir, and Paradox looking to take the first round win in the group stage. And it is Mazzarini. And he doesn't end bottom fragger. Paradox does. 
Yeah, but the fact that you're saying that means he is the most overrated <laughs> player. I'm not saying he can't get not bottom. I'm saying he's not top. He's not top. Anyway, Power Gaming take it 13-9 against Loaded. Loaded. Have they overhyped themselves? That's the question. Americans have never been afraid of confidence. They came last summer and said they were full of confidence and they went home quickly. The Americans have never been afraid of confidence. Anyway, from Quad B for day one of the Crossfire Intel Challenge, it's uh, Bon Voyage.